what is up guys welcome back to my youtube channel or of course welcome if you are new if you are new my name is finn it's so lovely to meet you and i hope you are doing really really well whoa okay so it feels like three days ago where i said i'm really sorry guys there won't be a video this week but i'll pop it up next week that was a month ago and i haven't uploaded for a month so for that i am really sorry um it's been mental yeah i it's just been mental so work's been busy home's been busy me and fred are looking for a house so we've had mortgage consultations bank consultations house viewings loads of stuff and it has just been so busy so yeah that's why i've not been here but i thought i'd come back with a really really simple easy video it's easy to edit thank the lord as you guys can see by today's title we have got a vintage haul i am obsessed with vintage actually addicted and it's quite an unhealthy obsession so all of my money is going there when it should be going into my bank not great jokes aside i haven't actually spent that much because vintage is an app where you can sell and buy things i'm not sponsored i'm just kind of like letting you guys know that it's phenomenal i love it so um i've sold a load of stuff it goes into your vintage account and then i have bought things for my holiday from the stuff that i no longer needed so i've spent next to nothing like maybe pennies on this stuff because i sold quite a bit i just want to show you what i've bought what i've picked up ready for holiday in four weeks i am so excited i cannot wait the weather has been absolutely atrocious here so i just can't wait to be like on a cruise ship in the middle of the caribbean with a cocktail the sun i'm buzzed i'm so excited so Without further ado, if you want to see what I have picked up from Vinted, then please keep on watching. So one of the first things I picked up was this pinky beigey floral dress. It is a mini slash midi, it's kind of in, in the middle of those two, with these huge flowers on, big bell sleeves, and I absolutely love it. It's very like cottagecore-esque, esque whatever you want to call it really, but I absolutely love stuff like this. You'll see a running theme when it comes to what I'm packing for holiday. It's all like just flowers and floral, but I, I love that stuff. It comes with a belt, so you can have it loose, you can have it tied up, you can do what you want with it really. And it is from the brand Shein. Without getting too much into the debate, I did buy an awful lot of stuff from Shein. I was intending on doing a haul with it, this was a, a long time ago. And then I decided dead against it because they're, they're not a very good company, are they? Let's... I don't want to get get too much into it and like get sued, but yeah, I don't support the brand Shein, but I bought it because it's really pretty and it was second hand, so it already exists. I'm going to pop it on the screen as to how much it was, but I did not pay much for any of this stuff, so that's really, really exciting. Vintage is so cheap. Um, and yeah, I cannot wait to wear this. I'm going to pop this up for maybe like an evening meal or something because the bell sleeves remind me of more um, like formal events. This is going to be so difficult to show you on a hanger, but this is a uh, play suit, jumpsuit, play suit. They're the short ones, right? So it is a jumpsuit and it is from H&M, I believe. It is satiny kind of material, brown with white polka dots. Um, and again, I've put this up for more of an evening wear just because of the satin material. It just reminds me of more like formal wear as opposed to casual um, it's tied up at the back like on the neck um, the only thing wrong with this is that when it's on it's a tiny bit gapy um, in the middle like the chest area so I'm gonna pop like a safety pin there or something just so I don't fall out while everyone's eating their dinner no one's gonna really want that <laughs> There's not really an awful lot more to say about it. I really like it. I think it will look really cute with a pair of heels or you can dress it down, put on a pair of Converse or something. I've popped the prices of what I've actually paid, but Vinted have like three different prices. So you have the price of the item, the price of the buyer protection fee, which is like 5% of the item's value, and then you have the shipping as well. So I might pay £3 for that play suit, but I end up paying £6 in total because of the shipping and the... 
um, the buy protection fee. However, even £6 is massively cheap and I'm just going to kind of squish the price all together and pop it in here so that you kind of know exactly what I have paid. Okay, next up is one of my favourite things I have bought from here and it's just kind of me all over. And I had this on my favourites for... I don't know, a week, and I thought, oh, is it gonna fit, is it not gonna fit? If it does fit, then it's amazing. If it doesn't fit, I'm gonna have to try and get rid of it and send it back, uh, like sell it back. Um, and in the end, I just bit the bullet because I fell in love with it and I needed it. So I got this orange skirt. It's very, very difficult to show you because obviously the camera, but um, I bought this skirt. It is very midi length, um, very, very floaty, beautiful cotton material. Um, and it has a side zip and a side button so it's just really easy to wear um, I got it, it's in a size 10 and I didn't think it was going to fit because I thought I'd need a 12 but I've got it anyway and I cannot believe where it's actually from it's from Asda George at Asda and I love it like beyond love it that with a crop top, a little pair of sandals, white bag like. I'm so excited and I'm not really one of those like I'm not very into fashion if you know what I mean I'm just a bit like if it looks nice it looks nice but this is kind of one of those items where I absolutely love it um, and it's got like a floaty it's not a belt but it's got this bit at the front which kind of just dangles down maybe for a bit of texture um, so it doesn't look too flat but yeah um, and this is brand new with tags so it was £12.50 I paid I think I paid £3 for the skirt a little bit of money for the buyer protection plus the postage I'll pop it here but um oh I can't wait I cannot wait to wear that and this is what I love about secondhand clothes shopping you're giving an extra life to something that already exists rather than going out and buying something in a shop that hasn't been bought yet um so the person that sold that obviously didn't like it because otherwise they wouldn't have sold it I've I love it so I really like that about secondhand stuff. I always think shop secondhand, it's so much better for the planet. So the next thing I picked up is this white play suit from, I think this is one's H&M, divided? Yeah, H&M, in a size medium. Um, it is just a plain white play suit. I actually picked this up for like daytime. Also, they're really good for beach cover-ups, so if I wanna wear a bikini under it, it's just so much easier. What I really, really liked about this, I didn't know until it came, but, in the front you have a little popper so it's it's low cut but it's still like covering you um which is what i like so yeah picked this up i didn't pay a lot for it and i love it with vintage you can either search for the thing that you want so like a blue and white striped shirt oversized or you can search for the brand um but i i didn't realize how much i actually like some of river island stuff i just don't like shopping in river island so I picked up a, quite a few little bits from River Island actually. Firstly, I got this really, really cute. It's nautical-esque, um, like blouse slash shirt. It's got bell sleeves with a little bit of rufflage. It has these buttons down the front and the buttons are real buttons, so you can unbutton as you wish. And it also has a tie front. So I picked this up as a beach kind of cover up. I can chuck it over the top of a swimming costume. I can wear it with a pair of shorts. You can kind of do anything you want with it. It's one of those dress up, dress down situations. Okay, we're moving on to two of my favourite pieces from this entire haul and I basically needed some more evening wear so I picked up some of these crop tops that I could wear with beach trousers and then I can utilise one pair of trousers for two different events which I think is much better for packing purposes. So this is the first crop top that I picked up. It is, um, it's not lace, I can't remember what you call this but it's like I, I, if you can remember what this is called please tell me because I've completely forgotten but this is what it looks like it's cream underneath with the black overlay on the top and the back is just black and I'm pretty sure this one is a size 10 yep um, and I just think this with a little black bag a pair of heels your black beach shorts I think that could look amazing and then going off on the same theme I bought this crop top which is a bit like champagne -y, pinky gold um, and it's all lace front and the back is just plain with a zip I really do love this, especially the strap detail, because I just think it's going to look a bit more elegant to wear on an evening, like when you're having your cocktails and you're having your dinner. I cannot wait to wear this, and again, I'd wear this with the beach trousers, which are just floaty black trousers, a pair of little heels and a bag. Um, and yeah, I paid £3 for this in a size 12. Lastly, for clothing on Vinted, I picked up another bikini. Now, I did... Oh, I match. 
it is from i actually thought this was from asda and it's not it's from next oh that's nice surprise surprise so i picked up this little bikini it is mustard and it is not a thong bikini thank the lord why is everything a thong at the moment there's nothing wrong with it but i'm going away on a family holiday and i don't want to be wearing a thong on a beach this one has got full coverage in the back and basically one of those awkward cup sizes that you can't buy anywhere um and if you just type in your cup size, if like if you're an awkward cup size, say like a 32F or a 32E, um, type that into Vinted and so much swimwear comes up. Because we're an awkward size, um, people buy their stuff from like expensive websites like I know, La Senza, or there is a couple of swimwear websites, I think it's Pour Moi, I can't remember. But um, they're expensive, like a bikini is 30 to 40 pounds. I am not spending that, but this is my exact cup size. Um, and it's from Nex. I really do love the front because it's tie up and it's underwired. Um, and as you know, if you're an awkward cup size, you probably want the underwire. <laughs> Two more things left to go. Shoes. So I picked these up mainly because I did need white sandals, but I thought to myself, do you know what? If I need white sandals, I might as well just get some decent ones. So I picked these up. And these are actually from Birkenstock. So they are secondhand. I have cleaned them as best as I can. It doesn't really bother me, secondhand shoes. So they are just plain white, flippy, floppy sandals with the buckle detail and the Birkenstock logo on the side and here. Um, yeah, that's all they are really. But I just think I can wear these. You can wear these on excursions. You can wear them just to the pool. It's just really easy. And I'm pretty sure Birkenstocks are bloody expensive. And I paid £11. That was including PMP, I think. So £11 for a pair of Birkenstock sandals. I am not going to moan. So these are brand new in the box. Um, and I paid £5 for them, I think, with the PMP. Um, but they are white strappy heels. So that's what they look like. They're just small heeled strappy sandals. I love the strappy detailing, but I feel like a lot of um, a lot of strappy shoes are too much. They're just so strappy and they go all the way up your leg. And I just, I'd feel claustrophobic. I, I can't do that. <laughs> also, I just think at the end of the night, if you've had one too many, having to take them off, I'd cut them. I know I would. I'm impatient. <laughs> I picked these ones up. I love them. They've got one strap here and you just, yeah. I really like them. They're from Boohoo. Um, again, they've never been worn, like the bottoms are mint, they've never been touched. So again, another really, really cute little bargain. And that is it guys, that is everything that I have bought secondhand from Vinted um, for my holiday and then for the rest of the summer as well. Like, I'm going to utilise these things until I don't like them anymore, which I can't see happening for a while. I'm really, really not sponsored by Vinted, they have got no idea that I exist in this world. But um, gen genuinely, it's a really, really good app. And if you want cheap, cheap clothes, you can buy things brand new. Yes, they're secondhand, but they're brand new with tags. You can see the quality. Every single buyer and seller has got a rating. So you can look for the people to buy from, make sure they've got a five star, four and a half star rating. It's just such a good little app. I love it highly recommend and that's it really so if you like this video please don't forget to hit that like button if you want to see or hear any more from me please consider hitting that subscribe button we don't always just do clothes we do a lot of makeup content we do little hauls come shop with me's um, and then eventually when we finally have a house i can't wait to upcycle furniture with you guys i miss upcycling so much so stick around for that and yeah, that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe. Have a fantastic day wherever you are in your week. And I can't wait to see you in the next YouTube video. Until then, love you. Bye.